Hey friends, welcome to the Teaching Moms. Today we are going to talk about the next W, which is what. What are you going to teach? Um, I actually had a conversation about this just the other day. Um, that those of you that are thinking of homeschooling maybe just temporarily until the COVID stuff kind of goes away, um, this could be maybe a little different than somebody that's wanting to long-term homeschool. What the biggest thing, and I might get in trouble as a teacher for saying this, because probably all the teachers don't want everybody to just know this. <laughs> you're the boss. As moms and dads, you're totally the boss. Why teachers wouldn't want you to know that? Well, if everybody comes into your classroom and demanding you to teach things a certain way, that could get complicated. So I'm sorry to the teachers out there if this causes you any problems, but Ultimately, I think it's important for moms and dads to know and to realize and to empower themselves knowing that you really are in charge of your children's education and it's up to you to decide exactly how and when and what you want to do with that. So with you being in charge, what do you want to teach? Well, that's a big question and there is so much stuff out there that it may be hard to sift through. So this is what I would do. Being that uh, many, many states in the country have adopted the Common Core standards, yes, I said the words Common Core, hopefully you don't slaughter me, I would try to stick to those. This is actually a good thing. Common Core, uh, for many people, they did not like that kind of control that the government was having on education, but for you right now, that is a gold mine because so many states have adopted the Common Core standards that means there's so many states creating curriculum and supplies and worksheets and songs and tutorials and there is just gobs and gobs of stuff for you to pick from. Now that can obviously be a problem as well because then you've got so much to choose from that it may be hard. So there are ways to sort through that information and find what works for you but I absolutely have some favorite websites and things that I'm going to share with you. But um, with that being said, I do want you to keep in mind that if it was me, I would stick to this core standards. Now, if you go to the website corestandards.org, you can read the standards that are Common Core. Now, those are the general standards that they have spread throughout the country. That is not specific to state necessarily. Utah has um, a different website, uen.org slash core will bring you to the website that has all of the core standards for Utah. Now, if you want to get really awesome, like myself, there's an app um, for the Utah core standards. And as a teacher, I use it all the time just to make sure I'm on base because we buy programs in the school for the standards, but they don't always match exactly with the Utah core because like we said, it's a national base now that it may not be exactly the same and so I want to make sure that I'm on par so that when the end of year tests come I've hit the standards the best that I possibly can. This is what it looks like. Okay, uen.org slash core and it'll give you a list of all the subjects and all the core standards. Once you're in to uen.org slash core you can click on any particular grade level or subject and it will pull up a whole slew of standards. Now, it is very wordy and there's a lot of information in there. So you might just have to spend some time and pick it out slowly because it is kind of a lot. But I would be happy to guide anybody through that maybe doesn't understand what to look for and maybe we'll do another video on what to do, but I have a feeling that would be a very boring video, so it might be just on a case-by-case -case basis. The last thing I wanna to talk to you guys about is the la uh, if you're wanting to give your kids some practice tests at the end of the year, just to make sure that what you were doing during the school year is going to keep be, be keeping your kids on par for what's being got done in school. Um, in the past, we have been do using the program utahrise.org. And if you go on there, there are training tests that you can let your kids use to practice. However, they don't give you scores. So that could be tricky for parents. Whatever curriculum you guys decide to choose, most of the time has a test of their own. I think if you're trying to guide yourself with the core standards in mind, 
then you're probably going to be just fine when your kids need to slide back into the regular school system. So this is again a video mostly for those of you that are maybe temporarily wanting to teach homeschool until you can get your kids back into a regular school setting. So I hope this is helpful. Um, if you have any questions or any ideas of things that you would like me to make videos about, we're, we're going to do this. Um, one of my friends said one of the things she wishes most people knew about homeschool is that you can do it. It seems daunting and it seems like a lot of work, but she, she just wishes that people realize that you really can do this. So it might be tricky at first, but you've got this. So hang in there.